There are seven lawbreakers who've done various crimes and are sentenced to community service, which, if people aren't familiar with that, is where you have to sort of, you know, pick up rubbish or, or paint a shed or something to pay back uh, the community instead of going to jail. And so we've got these seven different people and they've met in Series 1 and they sort of uh, come from very different walks of life and they begin to know each other, they begin to uh, become friends, but they also get embroiled in a kind of you know, proper, a crime scene, a crime, crime story that's going on behind the scenes. So um, we sort of tied things up to some degree at the end of series one, but we left some loose ends and those loose ends come back to haunt the characters in series two. Someone said to me early on when I started writing comedy that you should uh, you should chase your characters up a tree and then you should throw rocks at them. And so in series two, we're really throwing rocks and, and half a breeze block and anything else we've got I lying around. That. Yeah. It's that co combination of flavours that I like seeing when I put the telly on. You know, I like a thriller. I love a thriller, Chris. But I also like a bit of humour and a bit of drama and a bit of sort of human connection and emotion as well. So yeah. hopefully it's got a bit of all of that. Well, I don't know about you, but I feel that life so it seems to have that mixture of the sort of the hilarious and the absurd and can also have the tragic and the dark at, this, at the same time. I mean, it's a good excuse for me, a good opportunity to try things I've not done before. Like we did a home invasion sequence. We've got a car chase in this new in this new series. And did you write the car chase? I wrote the car chase. And um, and the thing is that uh, part of the reason I think that, you know, we managed to kind of get put that stuff in was because I co-created it with a guy called Elgin James. And Elgin in America is a writer. He worked on a show called Mayans MC, which is a spin-off from The Sun of anarchy and he was in gangs when he was young and he ended up doing some jail time and so he was able to kind of you know to sort of talk a bit more about the the, the specificity of that world you know in that crime world but you wrote both of them both seasons under lockdown well yeah we started filming um just before the first lockdown and then we got 10 days in they shut everything down and so i said to the bbc i think rather smartly look i'm twiddling my thumbs can i write a whole other series while we're in lockdown they said yes so when we resumed filming we did two series back to back